last time I actually wore makeup to school, I think it was probably before winter break. I don't know, it's kind of funny because like last year and also during sophomore year, I wore makeup to school like every day and I would consistently get up and get ready and pretty myself up for school. And now I'm like, you know, it's good enough for me if I even just like get out of bed. But I guess I also just wanted to sit down and be real with y'all about school stuff and also the college application process. I've said this many times before and, and like every video I posted for like the past two months, but I'm a senior this year. It's college application time. So it's not a fun time. I'm glad it's over. But now I'm worried again because I'm like, oh my god, I haven't heard back from any of my schools that I really like. There's a school that I really like. It is my dream school. In my mind, it is literally the perfect school. The decision doesn't come out until April 1st. Which, first of all, what a silly time to post like a college decision. I've also had the same stress rash for the past three weeks to a month. I forgot how long it's been. I feel like high school is such a draining environment. It's the same thing every single day. But I think I wanna talk a little bit more about the college application process and just like mental health during that time. Honestly, I used to watch a lot of those college acceptance videos and I think that really, really kicked down my self-esteem because I would watch them and then the people in the videos they would do all these incredible things and they would get into all these ivies and like prestigious schools and their extracurriculars would be like i helped solve for world peace and i'm like oh my god i'm not gonna be able to go into like any college because i have not done anything there is something fundamentally wrong with me because why am i not like these people that i see online I feel like it's definitely true when people say that you are your own worst critic because especially during this time there's just a lot of you know just picking yourself apart I feel like there's a lot of pressure that's put on what college you go to or I guess at least that's how it was for me when I was growing up and I guess I just thought that like if I didn't go to a school that my parents thought would be good, I would be a failure. I also didn't want to like disappoint my mom as well because we immigrated here and she's worked so hard. I don't want her efforts to be wasted all for nothing, you know? This is something that I'm also trying to realize and actually put into my mind, but I don't think college determines everything. You know what I mean? Even if you don't go to your dream school, Things will still be fine. Just because this one thing didn't turn out the way that you really wanted it to doesn't mean that everything else is gonna be ruined. Okay, I kind of took a little too long to do my makeup, but this is my makeup. And now I have to leave in 10 minutes and I am still not dressed. So I'm gonna pick out an outfit and just zoom over to school. Update, I got dressed, but also my glasses broke. Um. So when I went to go adjust the nose pad, it fell off. It's okay. <laughs> and this is me posing in the school bathroom. Someone walked in and I felt very awkward, but also a warning in the next clip, uh, I am crying. Today, we're gonna be opening up um, the admissions decision that I just got from USC, which is my dream school. <laughs> Anyways, so I have my, I have moral support. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. This is a copy. Either way, it would be amazing and perfect. And everything will be so good. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm clicking on the form. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, no. I did not get in. What? I did not get in. It's okay because think about how much fun you double be. Yeah. It'll be so great and wonderful, and then you can, like, afford to live and be alive. <laughs> so, um, I did not get in to my dream school. Come over, and we'll have a good snack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh. 
Like I told myself, I wouldn't be sad if I did not get to my dream school, but Loki, I'm like a little sad. Oh my god, it's really funny because I know earlier I was all like, don't worry, even if you don't get into your dream school, it's not the end of the world. But Loki, it does kind of feel like that right now. This is a great way to start off the first day of spring break. I know that I just got rejected and I am still crying, but you know, if you also get rejected from your dream school, it does feel very bad. I will say that, but don't worry because things are still going to work out in the future. And it's one rejection isn't the end of the world, you know? That's all I'm gonna say for now, and I'm gonna go wash my face. Hello, editing Ray here. Just a warning, the next clips you're about to see are like a very drastic change in mood from what you just saw. I am a bit delirious, there's a lot of screaming, it's very loud. Turn down your volume if you still want to have working ears. Hey guys, update. I'm in a different location. You're in a basement. You're not getting out. Joe Goldberg took me. Oh my god. As you saw earlier, I was crying, but now I'm not crying. Because I got into Syracuse. And it's and they and I got a scholarship. That's crazy. Ah! I'll show you guys the screen, so I'm not just screaming at you. <laughs> no, that's my address. <laughs> Let me cover that out. Okay, that's my name, right? <gasps> you are admitted. You as in me. <laughs> Hello. Once again. So, it's been a couple of days since I got my acceptance from Syracuse and I've already decided that I am committing there and I already like sent in the form and everything. So, I'm so grateful that I am going to Syracuse next year because they also did give me a very, very nice scholarship and I am very appreciative of that. Another little update, I didn't tell you guys this, but my top two schools when I first applied were USC and NYU, but as you saw, I got rejected from USC and then like a couple of days later, my NYU decision came back and I got waitlisted. Honestly, I'm not like sad I didn't get into those two schools. My major is Innovation, Society, and Technology. I feel like I've never really discussed like my future plans on here or just my career aspirations in general because I have this thing in my head where I'm like oh I'm actually not capable of doing that even though it's literally my dream and I know exactly what I want but I don't think I'm gonna be capable of like actually doing it in the end because I am stupid but I think that is just because of severe imposter syndrome which I'm trying to overcome basically when I was picking out my majors for the schools I was applying to I just picked anything that like seemed like it was related to UX design because I want to be a UX designer I'm so excited <gasps> for college next year. If you're also going to college next year, please let me know where you're going. And if you're going to Syracuse next year specifically, please DM me on Instagram or something. But well, that's all I have for tonight. I think I want to go watch The Glory because I was watching it earlier and then I realized I had to actually do some of my stats homework that I've been procrastinating. So, hello y'all. So currently my room is a bit of a mess. I swear I cleaned it like two days ago and now it's already messy again like I did the laundry and everything and now there's clothes everywhere again so um yes I need to reclean my room but anyways let me just show y'all what we're working with it's not super bad it's not great but it's not terrible okay so mostly it's just pretty unorganized right now and I have a lot of crap on the floor but basically I just have like clothes everywhere and some stuff on the floor my desk area is also a little messy and I think I also want to redo this section of my wall. This is the OOTD. We have a shirt and accessories and these shorts. Hello! Right now, we are going to change this wall instead of doing my stats homework. So basically, the game plan is I'm going to rearrange the stuff that's on my grid and then I'm going to change out 
my poster because I have a TXT poster. Before I take everything down, I am first going to show y'all what the entire wall looks like. It's literally just an Enhypen poster and some stuff that's on the wall grid. Honestly, I like all the stuff that's on here. It's just a little messy right now. Okay, also, I did get a little special calendar. It is definitely one of the best purchases I've ever made. I think it's incredible and I think I think it's my favorite piece of room decor. It's a dog calendar. Look at all of them. Oh my god. Doesn't this guy look so cheeky? Look at him. It's like he's smirking. Came with stickers and I put the stickers away in my stash. But now I am going to take down the things. Hello, voiceover Ray is back once again, and here is me rearranging this corner of my wall. I always look at it whenever I'm like at my desk, which is multiple hours a day, so I knew I wanted to redecorate it to suit my current tastes. And what are my current tastes? TXT and dogs. And bada bing bada boom, here is the wall tour, wall reveal. I really like the way it turned out, and as you can see, this video was shot a while ago because the calendar says March, and if you're seeing this right now, it is not March. I went to Colorado Springs with my friend Kavya because they're going to school there next year, and this was like an admitted students event, and they invited me as their plus one. Anyway, so continuing with the conversation, what about Patrick Bateman? What He voices some animated cartoon characters, I don't remember which one. I tried to go to the woods house. Yes, I totally believe you. It's real. I'm not imagining things. I, don't I have real life. You are pretty to lose. I think this kind of scam, but there's like nothing in water. Yeah. We were in a very Bridgerton mood, so we got some afternoon tea before we went to our hotel. And this was at an actual castle, which was so fun. And I'm not gonna lie, that is the best sandwich I've ever had. <laughs> you <do> harder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> natural. I got Oh, I'm coming for you. This is cinematic mode. Wow, it looks that's pretty cinematic. Dude. I know. Fit check, rotate. We're going, yeah. <laughs> this looks like another rock. That looks like a rock. No, that's dog. Hello! So I don't have any actual footage of the college, but here's me eating a sandwich. This was a very good sandwich. Like the mayo was so good and I don't even like mayo. There's three different companies of no sugar sweetener. No, that's diversity. Alrighty y'all, if you're ever in Colorado Springs, you need to go visit Kronk's Arts and Curiosities because this is literally the best store I've ever gone to. Like, Kavi and I were so obsessed with it, we went there twice. They have a bunch of fun little trinkets, and honestly, I desperately need my future home to look like the inside of the store. After I got back from Colorado Springs, my family and I went to Syracuse to go visit my school and I was so excited for this trip. I'm so grateful that I got to visit Syracuse before I moved there and honestly this trip felt so surreal to me because it truly felt like all the effort I've been putting in throughout high school had finally paid off and the anxiety of just not knowing where I was going next year and what I was going to do was finally gone. Hello y'all. This is a little update that I'm adding to the end of the video because I do have an announcement and that is I graduated high school. I'm sure you can tell by now that the footage in this video is a little bit old and that is because it was filmed from March to April-ish. <laughs> that was a little while ago. But I still want to post this video because I feel like 
I didn't really explicitly talk about any college stuff this year with y'all even though it's such a big part of my life I just like vaguely mentioned it and I was like oh man I'm so stressed with college stuff and college apps also this video took so long to get up because my mental health got very bad towards like the end of the year-ish and then it was fine for a little while and then it was not so great again so then I didn't really have that much motivation to really do anything unfortunately but I also was gonna film a get ready me for graduation I was gonna try and vlog it but I didn't because I had to wake up at 5 a.m for my graduation and I did not have the energy to really function or speak I guess so Unfortunately, there is no get ready with me for graduation, but if you wait four more years, I will post a get ready with me for graduation for my college graduation. Hopefully. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and expect a lot of college content in the near future. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.